Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we have for you a 2002 Range Rover HSE. It's got the 4.4 litre BMW V8 engine and it's done 196,000 kilometres from new. This car has an excellent logbook service history to it with many receipts which I will show you as well. It's black in colour with charcoal leather interior and it's got the supercharged V8 wheels which look fantastic. Lost it's done 196,000 kilometres, I think for its age it's actually in very good condition. It's a very easy colour to keep clean on the inside. It's got two remote keys to it. The suspension works absolutely perfectly. As you would have seen the photos, I've got a, a photo with the suspension down, the suspension up, and the suspension on the normal setting, which is this setting now. And it goes up and down very quickly. With these Ks, I would suggest that it would have had at least a couple of the shock absorbers changed and the compressor. It was also fitted with a sports exhaust system, which you can see at the back there, which actually sounds very good. It's not too loud. And you can really hear that BMW V8, which is fantastic. Two-way tailgate standard. The back seats fold down. It's got the original spare wheel under here. This car has spent most of its life on the North Shore. It's got all the books from brand new. And have a look at this service history. It has been serviced at pretty much the same specialist on the North Shore most of its life. So that's Trevet, anti-corrosion. And so this is where most of it is. So it's, they're located in Brookvale. They're a Range Rover specialist. And you can see the services were 186, 174, 168, once, let's have a look, 162, 157, 152, it just goes all the way through. So it has a very, very good service history to it. And originally, obviously, the first servicing was done at Trevet. 59, 70, etc. So when you're buying a Range Rover, I'd go so far as to say the most important thing is the service history, and then you work your way back from there. There's a whole lot of receipts. Lots of thousands and thousands of dollars spent. I'm not aware of anything at all which needs to be spent on the car at the moment. It does drive beautifully. The air conditioning is cold. And it's great that it's got two remote keys. Just close the tailgate. These Range Rovers are incredible to drive. It's a significantly better car than the previous P38 Range Rovers with the 4.6 litre engine. The leather is very good. Uh, the previous owner of this car didn't actually have any kids. As you can see, the charcoal leather is very good, especially for 196,000 kilometres. I've seen other Range Rovers with just 80,000 kilometres and not as good a condition as this. It's got the original Range Rover mats as well, which is very nice to see. The wheels are actually in very good condition. With big wheels like this, it's hard to keep the alloy in good condition because it's got low profile tyres, it's susceptible to being hit on the gutter. But if you have been looking for a Range Rover, whether it be a Vogue, an HSC, a diesel or a petrol, please come and have a look at this car. It does have a few little marks on it. The car has just come in. Um, there's a couple of scuffs on the bumpers. But as I said, when you're buying a Range Rover, really the most important thing is the mechanical integrity of the car, and then you, you go from there. We think it's very well priced. It wasn't long ago, these were you know, 29990 about a year ago. So we think this represents excellent value. I will start the car up. It sounds fantastic. It's very, very smooth.
and as I said I have driven it dries perfectly I've even put it in low range I'll just grab the fuel okay So I'll put the key in here, turn it on, no lights on the dash, it's done 195,000 kilometres, and the LCD display is in perfect condition. The air conditioning is absolutely ice cold, and we welcome the opportunity to take anyone for a test drive and this car is going to be inspected we've got it being inspected individually by an independent vehicle inspector over the next couple of days so thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you